What's going on, everybody? This is your WOF Outlook and Discussion for February 2nd, 2023. And as always, you guys, before we get into today's video, I hope everyone is doing well, remaining positive, and as always, staying blessed. All right, you guys, we're going to start here taking a look at the radar. And you can see there's the ongoing mess here, still ice and probably a few snow flurries here across the Dallas area. I'm sure travel is still a nightmare in that region. And you can see here extending across parts of southern Arkansas, there's a belt of wintry precipitation here extending into parts of extreme northwest um, Mississippi here south of Memphis with a heavy rain shell south of that here across north central Louisiana extending further south into east Texas. And as we move along further east here towards the um, New Orleans area, you can see showers and thunderstorms are developing and moving in from the Gulf of Mexico here, just east of Lake Charles, heading towards the Lafayette area, a few showers crossing um, Baton Rouge as well. So as the, as the morning progresses and we get into the afternoon and evening hours, we should start to see these showers um, fill in here across the New Orleans area in Southern Mississippi. Now you guys, we're gonna take the radar off here and we're going to take a look at the models to see. We're going to check the timing of when this is going to be coming in here. We don't have to go too far out since we are already at the day's event. Let's just get to see how the models cooperate with us today, you guys. All right, here we go. We are rolling. All right, so we're going to start here about what today is the second. Let's say we'll start by noon today. And we'll go to about, I'll show, to about 9 o'clock Friday night. Now, I want to have the reflector, but I also want to show you guys the dew points on this map as well here. We're going to kill a few birds in one stone. And as we get this to load here, we're going to take a look here to see when the timing of these storms are going to come through our area. Now, it's going to be a quick, the numbers are going to be all over the place while this loads for a quick minute. So it's going to look like the computer's going crazy. But I promise you, once it loads, we're going to be doing good. But as you can see here, as this is loading, you can see as the system continues to advance across the lower Mississippi Valley towards the southeast United States here, it's going to drag the cold front along our region this evening and tonight and then across southern mississippi as well during the overnight hours and that's going to lead to the showers and thunderstorms then having the cold air filtering in right behind it now this is taking a lot much longer to load than i want but as you can see here the general idea you can see our moisture return and let me pause this go for the quick breakdown real quick as you can see here by, by the afternoon, 12, 1 o'clock here, you can see our dew points already starting to creep back up here. Then probably about 1, 2, 3 o'clock, that's when a few showers will start coming into the, um, should be starting to develop here along the south shore and extending northward across the north shore, as well as parts of southern Mississippi here, we may have a few showers. And as this heavier rain, starts to approach which now it looks like today it keeps most of the heavier showers to our north here with just a few light rain showers maybe a thunderstorm or two as this systems move as the system moves across southeast louisiana here later on this afternoon and evening and into the overnight hours excuse this these dew point numbers here but into the overnight hours as i progress this further along you can see here that the dry air starts to filter in for Friday, dew points drop back into the 20s and 30s with sunshine and a chilly breeze. That's gonna be that for that part, you guys. So expect for a wet evening, a few showers until this um, cold front passes through here. And then expect the um, drier air to push through here for Friday. Gonna be sunny, but it's gonna also be chilly with that north wind here. Now, I'm going to pause this and clear this out since this is acting crazy. But it did what it needed to do. I, I was able to get my point across. Now, we're going to move into the GFS here. 
And I want to show you guys the temperatures. I'm going to go over the parent temperature here. And I want to also fill the vector. Now, this is also going to be dealing with the numbers. So I hope it doesn't go too crazy on me here, you guys. All right, let's see. We're going to load this from 12 to 69. All right, hopefully this does fine for me, you guys. All right, we're going to let this load real quick. All right, it's probably more than loaded right now. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, we're going to start here at 12 p.m. today. You can see our temperatures here across southeast Louisiana could creep back up into the upper 60s to 70s, into the low 70s here. Maybe even some mid-70s could be possible before this system moves through here. And our friends along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, you can see their temperatures are also going to rebound back into the 60s and 70s briefly before, as you can see here, we look back towards the west here around the Baton Rouge area, you can see the front here where the cold 40s and even 30s at filtering in behind this. And as I move this along throughout the day here, this is about midnight. And as you can see, the 40s are already starting to usher in across the South Shore and the North Shore here, and also starting to progressively get colder along the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. I expect the overnight lows to be in about the, to be around the around 40 here across the South Shore, some 30s along the North Shore, and possibly upper 30s to low 40s across the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Friday, we're going to rebound into the uh, mid to upper 50s here, but it's going to be chilly with the chilly north wind. So please have, please be dressed for it. If you dress for it, it's going to feel great. If not, you're going to be a little cold. Then as we move along to Friday night here, you can see temperatures drop back down into the 30s here across the North Shore, almost near freezing here along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So Along the Mississippi Gulf Coast and parts of the North Shore, be looking out for some frost here Saturday morning. And we'll generally be in the upper 30s to around 40 here along the South Shore in the New Orleans area. And then as we move along into Saturday during the day, you can see our temperature should rebound quite nicely into the upper 50s to near 60. But like I said, if you're dressed for it, it should feel very good. So that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Let me clear this off here. That's going to be it for this one. Let me put the radar back on for you just to show you all the quick look here one more time of the mess that's going on, currently ongoing across Dallas, extending northeast across southern Arkansas, and then the heavy um, showers that's currently ongoing across north central Louisiana into east Texas. All this will be moving east later on towards southeast Louisiana, southern Mississippi. So everyone, please expect for a wet weekend, followed by the colder air. And as always, be safe, be careful, and I will talk to you all in the next one. Thank you.